tonight. Yeah, Ebony Gonzalez says a teacher hit her son in the head, knocking off his glasses. She also says the school superintendent isn't handling the situation properly. Gonzalez has filed a police report and says since posting her story on Facebook, she's realized her child isn't alone when it comes to bullying and inaction. Local force Tahara Rahman investigated and joins us now in our studio with tonight's top story. Tara. Jim Tiffany Kiwani's police chief tells me that their investigation is still open. Meanwhile, Gonzalez says she won't stop until she knows this won't happen again to her son or anyone else. The teacher hit Curtis at school. I'm like, what do you mean? News that Ebony Gonzalez was not expecting while at the doctor's office last week. The teacher rolling up paper and waxed him on the side of his head and face knocking his glasses off. A message from her oldest son and another parent that a teacher had assaulted 10-year-old Curtis. Now he's traumatized. Now he doesn't want to sleep unless he's in a room with us. She says Curtis has been diagnosed with ADHD and does have trouble paying attention in class. Still, she says that shouldn't give a teacher a pass to hit. I don't want this to ever happen to any child. The mother of four filed a police report. She also says she's asked Superintendent Chris Sullins to take action. Gonzalez gave us this recording of the meeting. Well, at this point, she's not being fired. She's well, she needs to be suspended. Right now. At this point, whatever we decide to do is punishment or whatever discipline is uh, between the school and the teacher. Um, it's not a parent issue. Gonzalez says this isn't the first time Sullins hasn't responded to bullying. She says it also happened three years ago with her daughter. Called her ISIS and threatened to do harm to her and chased her on the playground and she yelled for her help and no one came to her aid. Gonzalez has been a part of the district for more than 20 years and says parents deserve someone who will keep their kids safe. And why isn't the superintendent protecting our children? It's now been five days since Curtis has been to school. Gonzalez says she's made a promise to him and others. She will fight to the mountaintop as loud as she possibly can, and she will not stop until your voice is heard, and I will make sure that they hear and that this will never happen to another kid. Now, the school superintendent says they've completed their own investigation, but he told me he didn't want to comment on the situation. In the studio, Tahira Rahman, Local 4 News. Tahira.